Defined names, which are known as range names in Lotus 123, are a long-standing feature in spreadsheets. If we use defined names in lieu of traditional row and column addresses, we can create formulas more quickly and easily while simultaneously creating documentation for our formulas. Yet many Excel users do not use defined names, perhaps because of the perception that it takes a long time to create them. In this tip, you will learn how to create defined names with just a few clicks of the mouse, thereby removing virtually any and all reasons for not using this great feature in Excel. To begin, consider the sample data currently shown on the screen. Suppose you would like to create defined names for each of the cells in the range B3 through B7 so that you could build formulas based on those defined names instead of using traditional row and column addresses in your formulas. To build the defined names, you could do so by clicking in cell B3 and then clicking in the name box in the upper left hand corner of the Excel window. In the name box, type the defined name you want to assign to cell B3. In this case, I'll use the defined name of revenue. Of course, the drawback to this approach is that it is manual and can be very time consuming as you would need to repeat the process for each cell in the range B3 through B7. To speed the process of creating defined names, consider an alternative approach instead. Begin by selecting the entire range of data from cell A3 through cell B7. Next, in the Define Names group, on the Formula tab of the ribbon, click Create from Selection. In the resulting Create Names from Selection dialog box, be sure that the checkbox labeled Left Column is checked, and then click OK. Upon doing so, Excel creates defined names for cells B3 through B7 based on the corresponding entries in cells A3 through A7. For example, cell B4 now has the defined name of cost of sales assigned to it, and cell B5 has the defined name of gross margin assigned to it, and cell B6 has the defined name of operating expenses assigned to it. With each of the defined names now in place, we can easily create formulas using these defined names. For example, we'll use the defined name of revenue minus cost of sales to create the calculation for gross margin in cell B5. The advantages of using defined names are many. In fact, many more than time permits us to list in this brief video. Unfortunately, however, the overwhelming majority of Excel users shy away from this technique for various reasons, including the perception that defined names have to be built individually. As you've learned in this tip, that's not the case at all, and you can instruct Excel to build your defined names for you, allowing you to begin working with them almost immediately. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.